Hello my crafty friends, it's Crystal with Happy to Plan. I'm going to be doing my Plan With Me video for the first week of February, February 4th through the 10th. And I decided that I wanted to use this um, Glam Girl kit. Not exactly sure what it's called, but it's by my mind's eye. It's what I purchased at the Tuesday morning recently. Um, I always do that. I always seem to pick things that I've recently purchased, but they just inspire me. So that's why I bought it. So that's why I'm using it. I selected a couple of pages from the scrapbooking kit. I am always a sucker for paper with words on it. I don't know what it is. It's just something I just pretty much always go for these types of papers. I don't know why. But anyway, I decided to cut that up and make it part of the center uh, row. And I am cutting it here, trimming it a little bit because I wanted the two pink Typically, I cover up kind of those pink lines um, on the planner that's already like pre-printed on the planner. I typically cover those lines up, but for this one, it actually worked because a lot of the layout is pink, so I wanted to make sure that I kept those in, so I was just cutting it so it had those lines still in there. And this is basically all the paper I'm using is just those two little sheets and then the side panel piece. And I'm going to use a bunch of the die cuts and the stickers. So I really wanted to keep it pretty simple and use, um, you know, mostly die cuts and things to decorate this particular page with. So as I was going through the die cuts, I was really inspired by this, um, that word right there. And then also the other word that says girlfriend, I'm going to pull here in a second. Um, but I'm just going through all of the different things and pulling out some of the pieces that I felt like I wanted to use in here. I wanted to be more like makeup oriented. Um, I didn't really use the lips just because I kind of think they're a little weird. <laughs> and, um, but I wanted to use it kind of like more makeup-y than some of the other stuff that was in there, like the flowers and stuff. So what I thought that I would do with these little cut aparts here is I wanted to write the word glam girl. So I took the glam, the girlfriend, and I cut the girl part out. And then I took the glamorous and I cut the glam part out. So now it says glam girl. And then I wanted, I knew I wanted to use that little hello thing just because I thought it was cute. I felt like it looked like speared, a smeared like lipstick. And um, so I'm just cutting around it a little bit just to cut it down a little bit. And then I... As I was looking at it, I wanted to have the glam and the glam and the girl part like stand out a little bit. So I'm going to do something here in a second and I'll show you. But before I did that, I do want to go ahead and ink up the sides. I just like the way this looks. I feel like it pops it off the page and it kind of gives it just a little dimension. And I also did it because I didn't like the fact that the, the color of the page and the whiteness of the page just didn't, they kind of clashed. So I wanted to kind of break it up between, um, so I just kind of outlined it with black. And then I'm putting some gold scalloped washi tape here on the bottom. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and, oh, that here, I was trying to pull out one of those bracket things that came in the collection to, to dot the eye with and the girl, but I ended up not doing that. All right, so this is what I did. I decided to take a couple of different washies. So I have a kind of a sparkly black washi and then a um, gold foil washi. So I just kind of did the reverse on the two. So I put the glam on the gold and the girl in the black, and then it kind of made it pop off that page a little bit more. So that's what I'm doing here, you kind of see. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some glue that I have and it has like a fine, um, tip to it so I'm just going to glue this around and um, once I get all of that glued down I wanted to use a pretty strong glue because the sparkly glittery washi tape I knew would be hard to glue on and then also the kind of um, the foil gold foil would be a little bit difficult to glue on as well all right so I'm just using my adhesive tape runner here to get these little couple things glued down and um, 
I wanted to stick that hello underneath that L <laughs> so that it could kind of sit there like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna get the other side glued down. And then what am I gonna do after that? Side panel. Oh yeah, I know what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take some of the die cuts and kind of outline exactly where I want to put them. Um, this just kind of helps me when I'm planning a sticker time and kind of making sure that I have them in the spaces that I wanted. I definitely wanted to use those little eyelashes. I thought they were really cute. And um, so what I did was I decided to put them in the corner there, but then I'm just gluing down some of the die cuts here before and getting them in position so that I'll know them where they go when I do the other stickers. When I was doing the eyelashes, I felt like the outline of the eyelashes was too much. It was really, so I just kind of fussy cut it around both of them. Not really like fussy cut it, just like just a little bit, just to take off some of that white space. And then I did it on that one and I'm going to glue that one down with some glue stick. And then I also did the same thing with the other eyelash. And then as soon as I'm done with that, it's going to be sticker time! Quite a bit of stuff that I needed to write down this week. My son needed to go to the DMV. He's 19 and still doesn't have his license, but he's working on it. Um, and okay, so I left this part in. Um, I typically, what I do is I typically watch like um, YouTube on my um, phone. <laughs> I was watching YouTube and the person said the word good. As I was writing the word game, so I wrote the word good instead of game. So I just wanted to show you how I covered it up when I made a mistake. I just covered it up with a little today sticker. And then you didn't even tell I wrote the wrong thing. Of course, now it's on YouTube and everyone can see it. But, you know, no biggie. Um, so I just had a couple of things that I needed to write down. And that's another reason why I kind of wanted to keep the layout pretty simple because I knew I had quite a bit of things that I had going on this week that I wanted to document. So as I get all of those written down, I'm going to go into my journal card. So I went ahead and took that page that has like all of the different designs on it and I am going to cut that down and I put that label sticker on there and you'll see why in a second. I kind of used it as a guide to how big I wanted the um, journaling uh, page to be and so I was really debating on what to do here because the page itself was so busy that I didn't want too much on there so um, all I did was I took this little tag that was in the sticker set and just backed it um, with some of that paper that's the back of that paper that I'm working on right now and then another sticker and kind of just Oh yeah, I took a bracket too, one of the brackets, and I put it in the hole where the little tag is. And 
and then I took another sticker and just um, put that on the side panel. Okay, so I'm just looking at my options. There we go. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then I just took some glue and I'm just going to glue that on to the back. And so this week's word of the, um, the prompt for my word of the year is quotes. So what I thought I would do was take these little Dollar Tree stickers and um, kind of put three different quotes, quotes on them. And I wanted to make sure that I put a title that said quotes. So I took some of that um, glittery washi that I used in the layout and I just set that on the uh, journal card there. And then I took some of these gold foil stickers that I recently purchased at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to write out the word quote. And these stickers are really nice. If you're at the Dollar Tree and you see these, I highly recommend them. They were very nice. They peeled off very nice. They stuck pretty good. They didn't really stick very good to that glittery washi tape, but nothing sticks to that glittery washi tape. And then I had another one of those little stickers that actually came from the Dollar Tree as well. And it said joy. So I just put joy quotes. And then I went ahead and took um, some quotes, just looked up some quotes online and I put them on the little stickers. Now I do want to let you know these stickers did not stick very good. I did have to go back in and actually use a glue stick to kind of glue down some of the corners, which is kind of irritating, but that's all right. <laughs> I'm done with my planner layout for this week, but I wanted to just show you really quick because um, I, I just wanted to show you because one of the things I wanted to do in my uh, happy planner this year was to document my word of the year, which is joy. So I think I showed you this one where I wrote all of the different things that I could be, that I kind of want to focus on in regards to joy. And then I did journal. I think I showed you that one, but I just wanted to show it to you again because I feel like I kind of want to make sure that I'm showing that piece of it because it is definitely a part that I want to share with you guys. So here's the take action one. Again, I'm pretty sure I showed you this one. It just has the different areas and then kind of like shows exactly kind of the actions that I could take for um, doing this. And what I was thinking about doing is doing a uh, kind of a chart thing and keeping track of the things that I'm doing. So I'm still working out what that's going to look like, but I'll share that with you if I, if and when I do that. Um, so this one I define. So this one was the definition. So I wrote, I took the definition out of the dictionary on one of my dictionaries that I have, and then I did write on the journal um, some journaling on um, what I def define how I define joy. And then for this one, this week was the um, Bible verses. So I did write several different Bible verses in regards to joy. Um, and I just kind of wrote it like little different little sections on this paper. And I really like how that turned out. So that was my last week's one. And then um, I did also want to show you that I did the entire month of January. So I did a full um, month of pictures of every day. So I took like a little snapshot of what I did for the day. And what another thing that I did was um, I took the little side panel on the side and I made a little flip up with this little thing. So I had like documented what exactly it was that I took a picture of. Just so if I go back and think, why did I take a picture of... <laughs> um, I took a picture of my um, crackers and peanut butter one day because I was sick this week and that was like my thing that was keeping me going was crackers and peanut butter. I don't know, I just had a craving for it. It was like the protein and the saltiness of the cracker just tasted so good <laughs> for some reason. So um, I documented that on the side panel here and um, and just said what, why I took a picture of that. So. Um, that so my February month I actually have two photos already taken um, which are actually it's on this page right here from the back of this one so I already took the two photos here and then 
I take, oh yeah, I did take a picture on Sunday and then this is Monday. I'm finishing up my planner video on Monday. So um, I'll probably just take a picture of my planner video, to be honest with you, because um, that's basically what I'm doing today. So I'm finishing this up. Really do like how this turned out. I love the little eyelashes here on the side. Um, yeah, and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. It's definitely different than the last couple of ones that I did were like a little bit more vintage -y. This one's like a pop of color and I really like it. Um, I did add this little birthday sticker here afterwards. And yeah, so this is, I think I just kept this really simple because I felt like this was already so busy as it was. I didn't really need to add a lot of stuff to it, but I really liked this little tag that was in the stickers and I liked this little sticker. So I put those two together. And so this is what I did for the joy quote. So that was my prompt for the week five is um, quotes about joy. So I just took these little Dollar Tree label stickers and just wrote down each little joy quote. And I didn't put who wrote, who said the quote because I don't really care. That's not really what this is about. <laughs> um, it's just something that kind of popped when I read it. I was like, oh. All right, so that is my planner layout for this week. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Sorry, it's a little late. I'm um, just wrapping this up on Monday. I had a pretty busy weekend, but um, you know, the Monday, planner thing is arbitrarily my goal for myself. I honestly don't think you guys care. Um, as long as I get one out, that's all you guys care about. So, okay. So I am all set. I will see you again next week um, with another planner layout. I am planning on putting some, I did do some work on my Pirates of the Caribbean junk journal. So I'm planning on putting a couple of videos out on that this week. And I'm hoping to get some devotional junk journals done as well. So stay tuned for those if you're one of my junk journal fans. <laughs> I have a couple of those videos coming out this week. And that's all. That's all for now. Okay, see you again. Bye.